on this episode of Broke and Brilliant. This is good content. Oh, see? Yeah, I, I only like when my ham is spanked. It's another in the US. Dear. That's so far off. Lies. Quick fire round. <gasps> I did work. N-A-N-A-S. Got some merch. Got some now Kelsey Varela. Sucks. <laughs> it's fake. Badger, badger, badger. 52. Five. Five. No, four. Five. You got, so for those uh, listening and not seeing my face, uh, I have a Broken Brilliant hat on. Very excited about that. Got, got some merch. Got some merch. Uh, merch. Say if you'd be interested in purchasing said merch. M- merch that we don't actually sell, but uh, yet, may- yet, maybe we one, will. Yeah, it, one day. Look at it. Isn't it nice? Yeah, it looks like you got it from like a cute surf shop in Santa Barbara. It looks very premium. All right, well, we don't like long intros, so Luke, let's get into it. Woo! All right, we don't like long intros, so Luke, let's get into it. Okay, yeah, to start off the podcast, just to recap from last week, Rachel lost, Roxanne won, which means Rachel is now at a disadvantage. She loses a lifeline that Roxanne decides that she loses. See, all I needed was stakes, and I really just upped my game. (laughs) Yeah, then all of a sudden you can't lose. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Which lifeline, Rox? We're going to go phone a friend. (gasps) Quick fire round. Half a point each. The most anyone can come out of this with is five points. Are you guys ready? Yes. yes. What is the largest mountain in the world? Um, K2. Uh, Everest. Yes. Uh, oh, who, Everest. who sings the song Sexy Back? Justin Timberlake. <laughs> who directed the film Moonrise Kingdom? Wes Anderson. I don't know that. I hate that movie. No, it's such a good movie. All right. What was the last state to join the United States? Why? How many members made up the Backstreet Boys? Five. Five. No, four. Five. No, you're right with five. How old is Dwayne The Rock Johnson? 52. 50. 51. 49. 48. 53. 47. Did you say 51? I did. Okay. What year did the gold rush begin in California? 1899. 1817. 1848. What network does the American version of the show Ghosts premiere on? CBS. Mm -hmm. Who plays Dwight in The Office? Rain Wilson. What is the largest freshwater body in the United States? Pacific Ocean? Or Fre- like no, no, freshwater. No, no. It's uh, Lake Lake Erie, Lake uh, Michigan, Lake Placid. <laughs> no, no, it, uh, Lake Mead, Lake. It is Lake Superior. Oh, it was one. Of the... I know. I was like, I, I, was just, like, I wasn't gonna get there. So one. Rachel got three right. Roxanne got five right. Woo! So How many? You get got... two and a half points. Roxanne. I Rachel one gets and one and a half points. Now we be, we begin the seven rounds of trivia that. You guys wrote for each other. Round one, general. (laughs) Knowledge, general knowledge. Round one, general knowledge. Nice. What actress filed for divorce from their husband, Dean McDermott? When, just like now? Like (laughs) literally last week. Um, Oh, okay. I just read Uh, the questions. I don't have any context. Look at her brain. It's going through all the files. (laughs) I don't know why I feel like it's Sydney Sweeney, but she might not even be married. I don't, I do not know this. And then it's making me think like, do I use my hint already? It's so early. It's the very first question. I'm not gonna lie. I don't even know who this is. What? Oh. That doesn't help Rachel at all because I don't know who most people are. I am just going to say, I'm not gonna use a hint. I'm gonna say Jennifer Love Hewitt, final answer. If I said the 90210 actress, would you? Would it have helped you? No. Who is it? Tori Spelling. All right, well, you got it wrong, sorry. Zero. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Who is the current princess of Wales? I don't know why, but I'm thinking it's Kate Middleton. I'm not thinking, I'm like, that's the only princess I would know. So I'm going to say Kate Middleton, final answer. Ding, ding, ding. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like- Rachel, for the first time ever on Broken Brilliant has left a factoid. I did, I left a couple today. Proud of you. The reason for the name is that princess. The reason for the name princess, sorry. I, I wrote it out and then I had to delete part of it. I'll explain, I'll explain. The reason that she is called the Princess of Wales is because the Prince of Wales is 
the title given to the heir apparent. Mm -hmm. And the heir apparent is obviously her husband. So she becomes the Princess of Wales. So they just became the Prince and Princess of Wales in 2022. Round two, music. All right, Rachel. Jesse McCartney was a member of which boy band? Jesse McCartney was in a boy band? <laughs> Lies. I don't I don't think he was in a boy band. I think this is a lie. <laughs> Jesse McCartney was on his own and he did Yo No, I'm not thinking the wrong one. It's a beautiful soul. What how does that song go? <laughs> how does that song go? I'm gonna have to take a hint for this one. It's gonna have to be my lifeline. Lifeline. <laughs> it happens every time was definitely played by every girl listening at one point. It happens every time when I see Your voice is angelic. It happens every time. I don't know. So it happens every time by something boys. By by all time boys. Final answer. Is that even a real name of a band? No. Oh. No. I just don't know what it is. My favorite band forever has been the all time boys. It is uh, Dream Street. Oh, <laughs> see? I, just... I remember that song. Yeah, that's what... Dang, I'm not doing good. No, you're doing you're doing. <laughs> this is my downfall. You're, you're, you're playing no. like ass. Um, which 2004 song by Maroon 5 features the lyrics, back and forth we sway like branches in a storm, change of weather still together when it ends? <laughs> you and these f-ing lyric ones. What year does it come out? 2004. I only want to say my love, but I don't think she would do that. Or no, this love. This love. Back and forth we sway, never to return. I only, I like want to put that to that melody. I think I'm just going to go with this love. Final answer. Yeah, what was it? Sunday morning. Back and forth we sway like branches in a storm. Round three, movies. Rachel. Luke. In the Lord of the Rings, how many rings of power are there in total? Three, four? No, okay. The elves have one. Uh, How many rings in total? Okay. Then I'm going to say four, final answer. That is so far Mm. off. Did you know this, Luke, before I asked? If I thought hard enough, I probably would have gotten it. I just would have to think back to the intro of the first movie. There are 20 rings of power. And I just put what? here, here, Here is the breakdown. Three for the elves, seven for the dwarves, Nine, wait, wait, just saying. I That's what I was thinking of. There's nine for the, the ra- nine for the race of men and one for the Dark Lord to rule them all. Roxanne has really figured, I'm just going to give you f- impossible questions. And impossible? Ra- and Rachel is has really is eased up on them. Yeah, my questions have gotten easier. Roxanne's have gotten okay, way so now, harder. Now we got to go back to middle ground. <laughs> so now you know how Roxanne felt, Rachel, for the first, the first couple episodes. Like- Which animated Disney movie sequel that saw wide theatrical release and grossed over 186 million worldwide is the lowest rated on Rotten Tomatoes. That's interesting. See, but like, that's like a very like, how, who knows that? Maybe Kelsey? Kelsey. No, I don't think Kelsey would even know that. You, you could just call her. Lifeline, call, phone a friend, phone, whatever we call it. Um, all right, you gotta hang up. She she did not answer. She's a okay. bad friend. Everyone know that now. Kelsey Varela sucks. Is a rude. Kelsey is a enemy to our podcast now. I'm gonna say Frozen Two. Final answer. <laughs> uh, that is incorrect. It's Toy Story Two. It is not. It is uh, the Jungle Book Two, with a score of eighteen percent. Oh yeah, see, I would have had no clue. Like literally, I didn't even know there was a two. Round four, TV. On what American television network did the Golden Girls originally air from 1985 to 1992? I don't know. I don't know what the Golden Girls was on. Um, this I, is taking its so- You are, you make this game so hard, Luke. You need to shut yeah, up. Like he, she needs to think. She's got to go in her files. That's why I do it, because you always interrupt me and never let me speak. So that's what I'm going to do to you. That's what you get. Okay, I'm like between, well, I'm between CBS, NBC, and Fox. Well, <laughs> but I'm really between CBS and Fox. And uh, because it's so old, I don't think it's Fox. CBS, final answer. So before I give you the answer, why did you eliminate NBC? I don't know. So it was NBC? It was NBC. Mm. 
Roxanne, the TV show Brooklyn Nine-Nine originally aired its first five seasons on what major network? A lot of network Wait, questions funny. today. Isn't that? That's what I said. I was like, that's funny. Yeah, I gave one too in the, the quick fire one. We've literally all wrote network questions. That's really funny. Why do I want to say NBC? But I feel like it's not. <laughs> NBC, final answer. Uh, <laughs> the answer is See Fox. Uh, but the fact Dang is... It. The day after Fox canceled the show, NBC called and picked up the show for the last three seasons. How funny! So you were like semi right, but you're wrong because I specifically (laughs) asked for the first (laughs) one. So Rosa's character, she's kind of like a deep voice, like badass, and then you hear her in real life, and she has like a really high pitched voice. It's like just doesn't make any sense. Oh, that's funny. Well, it's like Fez, like in that that '70s show. Like he talks like this, and like, and then he talks like totally normal, and he's like, whatever. (laughs) Wait, why was that such a good impression of him? Round five: food, snacks, and drink. All right, Rachel. Spam, spam is a popular food in Hawaii. Which two words were combined to create the brand name? Canned meat. I don't know why. Is is spam an abbreviation? Like. It's two words put together. Okay, it's two words put together. So hey, that's a hint. Sp- oh. Um, I was just me no, being No, that's nice. technically that's that was question. Me being, that was me being nice. I do feel bad that I feel like, oh my, I was like, I didn't Oh, no, that was that in the hard. question. It was in the question. It yeah. was in the question. Yeah. It's something in ham. Special ham, speedy ham, spear. Is it Spanish ham? <laughs> Spanked ham. Spanked ham? ham? <laughs> it's it's like S P. Sp- I only like when my ham is spanked before I eat it. Specialized ham. Final answer. No. Mm. Okay, wait, really quick. Luke, hold up your drink. Look on the can. What does it say on there? Spiced, spiced ham. Oh, spiced. I also don't eat meat. I'm vegetarian, so I have never even had spam. A lot of people haven't. Wait, just knowing that it's ham was pretty good. Well, I mean, that's pretty common knowledge that spam is ham. Why? It's just a chunk of nastiness in a can. I am zero, 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 zero across the board. Well, I'm only one. I only have one. This is good content. (laughs) (laughs) We're learning a lot today. What city is widely considered the birthplace of pizza? Okay, give me, yeah, give me a hint. Lifeline. Is the city in the U.S.? No. Can I give Can I give another hint? If it's not a great like you can't you can't give her Lady Gaga. <laughs> it, it's another in the U.S. No, I knew. I said, that's no, fine. Like, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Like I knew, I knew that. Like, but I was like, I'm just making sure. I'm gonna say Sicily. Final answer. It is actually where my ancestors come from in Italy. Uh, old Napoli, Naples, Italy. Naples. Yeah, Naples. Didn't gain wide appeal until 1940, though, when it was brought by Italian immigrants to the United States. So what I'm hearing is Americans made it. Yeah, so it was America. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, it, it didn't gain wide, like worldwide appeal until it came to America, which just makes sense. Honestly, thank you, Italians, because I couldn't live without pizza. Round six, dealer's choice. Ooh. Uh, what year did Jeopardy first air? Jeopardy first aired. I don't know. Ooh, a trivia, a trivia show question on a trivia podcast. Jeopardy, Alex Trebek was pretty young. I want to say he was like in his 30s or 40s. And he died in what, his 80s? And that was in like 2018 or something. So, okay, 1978, final answer. Mm. 1964. Oh. Mm. But honestly, see, this is what is impressive about Rachel. She's going, she's doing math. She's thinking about all these other things. <laughs> Listen, if anyone knew that, like actually knew that off the top of their head, did not have to look it up, please uh, please uh, comment, like, please comment. subscribe. <laughs> Blake Shelton was once married to which fellow country music artist from 2011 to 2015? Wow, she does love me. <laughs> Miranda Lambert. Final answer. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> he- I was Easy not, peasy. I was not expecting to get that one. Uh, that was his second wife, actually, and he is now with Gwen Stefani. Two times been around that track, so it's not just gonna happen like that. We are just like now we're just singing like we're this just shit trying, we're is just bananas. B A N A N A S. Round seven, deconstructed. There we go. Your three point clue, Rachel. This state's nickname is the Badger State. Nebraska? No. 
Badger, 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 badger. <laughs> That's a good way of thinking out loud. Badger, 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 badger. <laughs> snake, it's a snake. Remember that video? You don't remember the one on like E-Bombs World that was like, badger, 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 badger. badger oh yeah, badger, 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 badger. Holy shit, E-Bombs World? Is that what you just said? <laughs> yeah, I'm really aging us. Uh, badger, 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 badger. For all those like 13 year olds. Wait, that just blew my mind. That was a core memory I totally forgot about. <laughs> Please give me the second clue. Your two point clue. In 1940, the state started printing American Dairyland on their license plates. See, now that's making me feel like it's like Oklahoma. Isn't California the di- This is where we have happy cows. <laughs> <laughs> like, like Saturday is my chore day where I just do yard work all day. And I just have to take him out of my ear. My God. <laughs> <laughs> the entire time, it's just silence. Give me a second to think with silence. My God. Dairy, dairy feels like Wisconsin cheese. There's no way for me to win. So I'm just gonna answer. Wisconsin, final answer. Yeah. <laughs> Proud of you. Yeah. Finally, I pulled one out of my files today. You did. This is for Roxanne, written by Rachel. Your three point clue is, <gasps> this thing's official name is Octothorpe. Octothorpe? Okay, next clue. It is a symbol that was originally used in Latin as an abbreviation for LB. Pounds. For pounds? Yes. Why do I want to say hashtag? Give me the one point clue. Your one point clue. I mean, you're safe to take this, right? Because you're just. I, yeah, yeah, she won. Yeah, I won, but I still might. It is commonly found below the number nine on a phone keypad or on any and all social media. Pound sign. Final answer. Uh, yes, it is a hashtag pound symbol number. I literally was like, I was like, I would have never. I don't. I don't know why I thought that, but I got there. That was I good. Was. I won again. <laughs> Roxanne is the winner of episode five. Wow. So now it's a three to two. But it's three to two officially and great job. So Rachel loses another lifeline, lifeline. next week. Yep. I lose another one. Dude, I'm telling you, it's the stakes for real. <laughs> Thank you all for watching another episode of Broken Brilliant. Broke and Brilliant. Um, and brilliant. We're, we're so happy that you're still along for our journey. We hope you learned some stuff today and yet we're entertained. And if you're not already, please follow us on all of our socials and wherever you listen to podcasts. And give us a rating or a thumbs up, please. Oh, only if it's five stars. Uh, otherwise, yeah. do not. <laughs> otherwise, we do not want Otherwise, them. we do not want. And also, remember to stay smart and not broke. <laughs> <laughs>